Okay, we are up here in the attic and we are going to have to, good lord that light's bright, we are going to be removing all this old knob and tube wiring so that we can uh, put in some new modern wiring. And the reason for that is these orange pipes are part of the new fire sprinkler system and they need to have insulation laid over the top of them so that they are exposed to the heated airspace of the house in the ceiling below but protected from the cold in the attic during the winter time above the problem is that there's knob and tube wiring and insulation cannot be against the knob and tube wiring for fire safety purposes so we have to um, find where the hot wires are the first locations so that we can then go from the hot uh, get the hot out of the attic and down to a wall switch um, below so that we can run new modern wire you see the wire over there up to the attic area and then to all these various locations and what kind of makes this complicated is we um, are going to have uh, let's see there's several switches in here here is one switch these two wires here and those power up that light fixture in the middle of their bathroom so those wires are going to be switched and then also one of those wires you see is a hot lead and uh, it has uh, a power tap going from that you see it taped over there and that wire is heading off over here and down into some other electrical that we'll have to figure out but um, so far preliminary research is showing that this is the that yellow wire nut is the first hot connection in the attic and that all these other wires come off of that so we're uh, going to trace that and see what happens and then we will work our way back through the attic here you see we have some new wires coming up through the wall space there so some stuff has already been updated and other stuff has not been updated let me um, stand up here make it a little easier to move okay so here is the main uh, inch and a quarter water supply up to the attic and from there it branches off to either side to feed all the sprinkler heads in the upstairs so there's a sprinkler head there and there and uh, so we're going to make our way down the way here um, yeah. they've uh, got some interesting stuff going on here let me uh, see what is under here before I start uh, tracking things all over. Make sure that I can walk on this before I actually walk on it. Okay, good. So that is a wall down there. And um, just as chance has it, there is an old uh, hole for some old electrical apparently okay so i can walk on that that's okay and so let's uh continue on over here um so over there that is an old uh water tank let me uh get my reading glasses on so I can read 
what's on here it gets a little bit uh, tricky to walk along here okay what do we got Let's see if I can uh, read what that says huh Well, I don't know what that is. Let me get a little closer so I can read it. Okay. Well, uh, no. Yeah, cannot quite tell what that is. And it's loose. Let's see if there's any writing over here. Nope. Geez, now this uh, should just be removed. This could just fall right over and crash through the ceiling here. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I'm interested to know what this is. Um, yeah, there could have been an old well and it would pump water up into this and then gravity drain down to the house. There's an old, uh, that actually that's a fireplace for the house. This section in front of us is an addition. Okay. So yeah, this thing here, I'm, uh, I might just uh, remove this because that is a uh, potential hazard. Okay. So anyway, um, you can see all the um, space up here and we're going to have to remove all of the knob and tube wiring you see you see the addition over here that's got some modern wire now what is kind of funny is this is an awfully long run for a bath fan okay let me uh, waddle my way back out of here yeah, you see these roof vents are getting kind of plugged up okay okay just about out of this area here Okay, lost my glasses, let me grab those. Ah. Okay, so this thing here is just barely tacked in. I uh, came close to falling on that one. Fortunately, I have cat-like reflexes. Okay, so there you go. Um, we have knob and tube wiring coming through the uh, rafters here. These look to be two by sixes. And got uh, knobs there, knobs on the ceiling rafters. Um, so we have to determine the size of these things, uh, find out where the, the main power up is so that we can tap off of that and then um, we'll get uh, the appropriate gauge wire for that, 14 gauge or 12 gauge. Uh, lighting is usually 14 in some of the old stuff, but it could have been 12 gauge. Uh, we'll just see when we get there. 
Uh, that light is awfully bright. I'm going to just point out the other way. Um, so there is some of our wire. We've got 14-2, uh, 14-3 for three-way switches. Um, over there, tools, extension cords. The orange thing is a fish tape. It's a uh, rigid, stiff, kind of a rectangular shaped wire, flat wire, that uh, we can pull wire up through the walls with. Um, this conduit here, that carries four or five circuits over to that new addition of the house there. And um, we could open it up and use that, uh, put a junction up here, but we're not going to do that. And then, uh, what else? So yeah, anyway, uh, that's what we got to do right now is figure out where the hot wire is and uh, and start replacing circuits from there. And there are probably a couple hot wires up here because there are several bedrooms and then all the uh, plug-ins in the walls. Uh, those are probably going to be on a different circuit. Well, actually, uh, old wiring, everything might be on the same circuit. Okay, so uh, when I find things, I will um, bring in uh, little tidbits of information. Okay.